Hey, guess what? Fortnite has an official date for its first big content drop. Zach and Darren, two of the developers of Fortnite, published their dev update video this morning over on their YouTube channel. I'll have a link in the description below to their video. It's a short video. They didn't spend a tremendous amount of time rambling on about little things. First off, they wanted to mention that they are still working on and are completely dedicated to correcting the stability issues. As of the last update, 147, they have been able to clean up and fix the stability to where crashes are happening less than half as often as they were a few weeks ago. Another big milestone that they were super proud of and excited to mention is that there are now over 1 million players playing Fortnite. And with all this data from all these players, it helps them isolate crashes and also exploits players are using. They didn't mention anything specific, but the unlimited minigun glitch has been a little, a little OP. Just... Just a little. <laughs> they did mention that there is something that allows you to use the rocket launcher longer than expected, and I'm hoping it's just a legit exploit that I'm not aware of, and not them wanting to nerf the actual perk from Dirty Sanchez, aka Support Specialist Hawk. For those of you that don't know, he is the only soldier to have a perk that is unlocked at level 18 called There Are Many Like It. This perk makes your weapon take zero durability loss while you are affected by war crime. So if you have ever used a rocket launcher, you know that there isn't any ammo, and it's basically a super short durability lifespan. Well, I guess some people that I've been talking to in chat have been stacking this ability and all playing as Dirty Sanchez, thus giving everyone almost an unlimited rocket launcher. <laughs> it's kind of smart, actually. I, uh, I hope they don't think this is an exploit, and I hope that they don't change it. It's actually a pretty unique perk that only one hero out of what, like 40 plus heroes has? So the chances of the entire community abusing this uh, is, is slim. And if they're going to change it because the community that doesn't put the time in or is not lucky enough to get Dirty Sanchez is going to complain that, well, it's not fair, they get to use that. Well, why can't my soldier use Ninja Stars then? Or why can't I use the base as an Outlander? Well, who plays Outlanders? Anyway, the big announcement is the new mode called Survive the Storm. It will be going live with patch 1.5 on August 29th. All we know so far is that it's a survival mode where you can pick the duration from 3 to 14 in-game days. Yes, up to 14 in-game days. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to when the day cycle is. That's a long time, like 3 plus hours for 14 days. Might even be longer. So, I don't know. They did mention that they will have some pretty awesome rewards for all the different lengths that you decide to take on. They also mentioned a couple weeks ago some small details about how there are going to be objectives going on during the daytime while you gather and farm for materials, but at nighttime is where everyone's going to bunker down and defend their fort or some kind of objective. But we will have to wait and see. Maybe, maybe they'll give out some more information before the official release, maybe not. But wait, there's more. Along with the new mode, Survive the Storm, they are going to have random storms rolling into all four zones that will affect missions by adding modifiers to both the zombies and the players. They did mention that zombies might have an enraged mode as they as they become lower on health. Some might just explode when you kill them. Uh, there's going to be positives to the player base where you might be in a mission where soldiers do extra damage. I mean, the possibilities are endless. They might have it to where, like, grenades or insta-kills on anything. I don't... I, I mean, you can think of whatever you want. They can make it happen, so... Modifiers are cool. If you're not familiar with modifiers, um, Destiny used them in their Nightfall Strikes. And I believe even Diablo uses them as well. It's nothing new, but uh, it'll be super fun, and it's a nice change and addition to the game. So that was pretty much all the info they had today in their video. It was a short and sweet update to the community, and again, the link will be in the description below for those of you who want to check it out. It's about seven minutes. Also, if you didn't notice in the background, this was a clip from last night on stream where we were defending a balloon drop, and instead of building a ridiculously massive base or a pointless pyramid, we just put up a few traps around it, and let me tell you, it was, it was hella efficient. We just ran around, kited things through the spikes, the wall darts were doing all the work, um, and if need be, our wall posters just knocked them back out for a rinse and repeat, and you just, you tap again, again. Repair your walls. It's not hard. You click a button while you're fighting. So as long as you're walking around the center repairing the wall when it takes a little bit of damage here and there, let your traps do all the work. It was golden. It was golden. So take notes, you resource-intense builders. <laughs> and on that note, I'm out. Bye bye now.